Namaste parents and children. Today we are back with one more exercise of practical life activity that is dropping coins. So what are all the materials required for the dropping coins? A piggy bank, if you have any piggy bank where you are already giving your child, where it can be opened and closed, that kind of a piggy bank. And some coins here, I have used the plastic tokens. I would really suggest Take little big kind of a coin like 1 rupee or 2 rupee coins. Please use the real coins and give it in a bowl. And under that you have to keep a tray. Yes. So if you don't have a piggy bank, ensure that you take any kind of a box which has a lid. And then please cut open it. And then ensure that only one coin or one token goes at a time. You have to cut open only like that. Not too many coins at a time it should go. You should have a space to go only one coin at a time. Now let's see what all the benefits the child gets out of this activity. And it is a wonderful activity where the child loves to do repetition on and on. See, this is a perfect sensory, uh, you know, activity which also increases the math learning and fine motor skills in the child. So, what will happen? See, we always hear that learning through play, practicing through the play and developing the lifelong skills through the play. This is what this material does for your child. It also helps the child in getting a fine motor skills very very refined. It also strengthens the hand muscles and the working finger grip and the grasping of the hands or fingers will be very very good and it indirectly helps the child to hold the writing instrument which means the child is being giving the activities to prepare for writing yes so let us see how to do this activity this activity is very very simple but you have to create a challenging things in your in this activity so first you give a random like you know maybe 20 coins or uh, 25 coins let the child start counting it and putting it yes one the noise four a b c d e f g